We're on site at a pool near Oxford, currently about a week and a half into the project. The swimming pool, when it's finished, will be about a six and a half metre natural pool with a regeneration located around the edge there and the filter chamber on that back end. As you can see, we've got our finished slab in. The slab had two layers of A393 meshing and this was finished about two days ago. Over the past day, while we wait for concrete to set, we've been conducting other activities such as trench work. This trench here will supply pool water and mains electric to the swimming pool. Currently where I'm stood, we're in the filter chamber. Before we can get any mesh in here to pour concrete over, we have to get all our drainage in. This bottle gully is set at the same height as the finished slab. This will then drain any water that collects through here and send it towards the soak away. Before we can put a soak away in, we need to conduct some percolation tests. Percolation tests help us determine how big the soak away should be. We're currently just doing all the block work for the filter chamber. The filter chamber, as the name suggests, is where we put all our filtration and plumbing. We have to have a minimum height of 1,075mm so that our filters can sit underneath the decking. We'll have decking over the top as this hides everything and gives it a nice finish. We've got a few weeks away to let all the concrete cure. Now we're back, we're beyond all the civils phase of the job and we're moving on to our installation and finish work. Over the next day or two, we've got some concrete finishing work to do, just to get our walls up to spec so we can line over them. Places like the skimmer cutouts, flanges, and just places on the walls where it's a bit rough. On the last few days of the job, we did all of our regen profiling. We profile the regen at about 45 degrees. This is where the clay and the water plants will sit for our regeneration area. 